What's up guys? So right here behind me I have a 2012 Camaro SS and uh, this is our next project. So this one is getting wrapped. I believe it's the same color as TJ Hunt's wide body Supra, the Street Hunter Supra. It's an amazing color. I think it's a 3M color if I'm not mistaken. Um, this car, uh, let's be honest, seen better days. But in this video, we're going to see this car get completely transformed from kind of being a little beat up to looking show car ready as close as possible because this guy really really wants this car to be restored to its former glory and look amazing all right so before we get into this wrap one of the things we're doing or one of the many things we're doing is bringing the car back to life has some pretty bad damage on the side here um, we have Travis in to do the PDR, so paintless dent removal. We're gonna take care of this dent without having to send it off to the body shop. If you didn't know, that's what PDR is. That's where he comes in. It's a pretty bad dent right here, if you see that? So before we wrap this car, getting the body as good of condition as possible is what we're gonna do here. You can see there's some paint damage. This is gonna have to be sanded or a new bumper. Is there a new bumper for this thing? When you bring your car to premium, we're gonna go over every option with you. We're gonna let you know all of everything that we can do for you. In this case, this car was on the borderline needing to go to the body shop and get painted or get wrapped. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna correct some of the body, add some new parts, wrap it, give this car a whole new life, and uh, you guys will see the transformation. So let's get to it. Is that like more of a, just like a mandatory thing, the heat gun, basically like heating up the panel so it's more... To me, it makes it a lot easier, gotcha. you know? Uh, Especially when you get to silvers, golds, and pearls, mm -hmm. you know, the paint cracks easier, yeah. you know? Um, when it's cold outside, mm -hmm. paint cracks easier, gotcha, yeah. you know? So I'd rather be on the safe side and use some heat. And one thing too is you get it too hot, you can discolor the paint, you know? Like especially like on pearls, you know, or with, when it has metallics, yeah. the paint, uh, it'll discolor faster. What's up guys? Um, we're gonna start wrapping the car today and uh, it's gonna be this color right here, 3M uh, Raspberry Blue. It's probably one of my favorite colors that 3M makes. But anyways, just a quick update on what's going on with the car. As you guys can kinda see, it's been sanded down just because the clear coat's like really bad on it. Um, it's been in a collision so you could tell like it's not in the best condition with the paint. So uh, luckily we, we went the extra mile. We went ahead and we uh, filled in some little chips with some putty. We're gonna sand it down, even it out, and then we're ready to wrap.
What's up guys? Second day. Um, we are gonna start wrapping this side. Unfortunately, yesterday we ran into some plumbing issues. We couldn't get as far ahead as we wanted to just because they were working over here, but that's not a big deal. Um, the customer opted to do some satin black uh, accents on the car, so we're gonna do this, or we did the hood obviously in the roof. We're also gonna do the trunk and just a few little other pieces like the spoiler. And uh, the goal today is just to knock out as much as we can, basically this side, and hopefully just have bumpers for the next couple of days, and we should be done with the car. ran into a problem um, unfortunately this car um, what we kind of talked about earlier it's not in the best shape um, it had some repair work done on it and it wasn't done correctly just because you could tell when the prep work just isn't done right paint kind of flakes off really easily and stuff so when I went to lay this panel I was trying to push it down but as you guys could see it's just not going down so paint stuck to it and the whole this is all clear coat right here that hasn't been um, adhered to the paint correctly so unfortunately this panel is now trash um, and the crappy part about that is now we have to go ahead and sand it feather this whole thing out again and pray that it doesn't happen the next time we lay it so whenever you guys do wraps at home or whenever you guys are doing any wrap jobs or coating out wrap jobs always look at the paint and the condition just because you can run into this problem Luckily, it was just a door. It wasn't a big panel like a quarter panel, but that could always be the case. So just make sure you guys go ahead and watch out for things like that, just so that you guys don't end up in the same problem we did. There's a piece of the clear coat right here. And as you guys can see, it just flakes off. So, oof. It's pretty bad. What is up guys, new week. I'm pretty excited to get this car pretty much done. Uh, as you guys can see, I pretty much did the whole main body except the side skirts. And I'll tell you straight up guys, I hate wrapping side skirts just because I gotta be on the floor and it's just so uncomfortable. So I kind of leave those for last, but I know I should tackle them on first, but whatever. Today, the plan is to go ahead and wrap the front bumper. Um, we're probably gonna get to the rear, maybe, maybe not. But the front bumper is going to take me quite a while just because it's a little bit trickier. It's not as easy as kind of like a other bumper just because with these American cars, they kind of have like a weird shape to them. But um, it's a good challenge. You know, it keeps me on top of my skills and stuff. So we'll see how it goes today. Hardest bumper in the game? Not, nah, probably not, but it's definitely difficult. It's just like when you forget to do stuff like this, yeah. you don't know how to do it, you don't remember, but then when you do it, you're like, all right, cool, it kind of clicks. You go back to the back. premium auto styling videos on YouTube and you're like, oh, that's how hey, we did legit, it last time. Legit, that's what I did. <laughs> legit, that's what I did. If you're trying to wrap a bumper, just go watch our channel.
it is delivery day on the Camaro, and we have Paul here. <laughs> What's Paul up? is here to pick up his car, and what do you think about it, man? Dude, I'm freaking stoked. I couldn't be happier. Um, uh, I'm stoked. Yeah, you didn't think we could do it, huh? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, oh, you got it, us. So, you know, going through the whole car, right? Obviously, we wrapped it in the um, 3M gloss raspberry blue, right? And then what we did was on top of the wrap, we gave you the black uh, hood, the roof, and then the trunk like you requested. Um, and I thought that was a really cool addition to it. Then we smoked out your taillights as well. Thought that'd be really cool, right? And then down here for the diffuser, we actually replaced that as well. It's that OEM replacement. Smoked out all the reflectors on your car, right? Give you a little cool decal as well. Like, yeah, like the pretty new. And then honestly, the front bumper is completely new. Um, so what happened was Paul actually brought us uh, an aftermarket bumper and um, his old bumper was just kind of toast, right? Yeah. It was just a bunch of rock chips. There's crackage, uh, crackage going on the front bumper. So we definitely had to replace it. But luckily he brought a new one for us and we wrapped it and we were able to get it on without any issues. All right, man. Well, you have anything to say? Bring your car to premium. <laughs> <laughs>